Hello! In this video, I'll quickly walk you through top improvements for post relationships in the Toolset Blocks 1.3 beta. I have a demo site about real estate properties. It has two post types, one for the properties and the other for agents who sell them. I've also set up a post relationship between these two post types. An agent can sell multiple properties, but a property can only be sold by one agent. So, as you've guessed, this is a one-to-many relationship. In one-to-many relationships, we often call the one side of the relationship a parent post, while the many side is its child posts. Ok, so first, let's see how to display a list of child posts when displaying their parent. In our case, when displaying an agent, we want to display a list of related properties that they are selling. In the admin, we go to the Toolset dashboard page and click to edit our template for displaying single agent posts. Let's add a heading for agent's property list first. I insert the Toolset heading block and type in my custom text. I'll give it a bit of a margin. Ok, now the main part. To display a list of related property posts, I simply insert a view block. I give it a name and click to create a new one. Let's stick to the default layout and options. And now I only have to select properties and make sure that the option for selecting properties that belong to the current agent is selected. And that's all there is to it. I click next and my empty view is created. Ok, let's add some toolset blocks to output some fields that will come from these related property posts. I'll start by inserting a toolset heading block and make it an H3 heading. We make it dynamic and the post source is the current property because it's the current property in the view and we already told the view to list only properties related to the current agent. So that's all there is to it. I select the post title with the link option and the list of titles appears. Cool! Let's also add an image. I insert the toolset image block. And yes, I want to use a dynamic source, which again has the post source as the current property and the actual custom field is property featured image. And here it is on the front end. Our agent post displays a list of all related properties that this agent is in charge of. Ok, now let's see the other case. How to display fields coming from a parent post when viewing one of its related child posts. Let's see one property post. Ok, it has a nice preview of a property with all the info about it. Now, when displaying a single property, let's display some information and link to the agent that is handling it. We go to Toolset dashboard and this time edit a template for properties. Ok, let's start by adding a Toolset grid cell. In the left column, we want to display an agent's photo, so we insert the toolset image block. Yes, we need a dynamic source, but this time we want to display content coming from a parent post, so we simply select parent agent. And then simply select the field group and the field itself, which in this case is agent photo. And there it is. It's now this simple to display fields coming from related parent posts. I'll quickly add a big border radius just to make the image more stylish. Ok, let's also add a bit of info to the right column. First, a little call to action. And then, the button to take us to the parent agent post. I insert a toolset button block. I want a dynamic button text and again post source is parent agent and the source is the post title field. We also want the button URL to be dynamic, 
So we turn it on and again select Parent Agent and Post URL. And that's it! Let's look at it on the front end. It works! We easily displayed information coming from the related parent post. Finally, let me show you how to conditionally display content where conditions are based on custom fields coming from related posts. Let's stay with our example of agent information on the property post. What if the current agent doesn't have a photo? Let's set a condition to display a default avatar image in this case. In the Content Template Editor, we add the Toolset Conditional block and click to edit the conditions. OK, here is where we configure our condition. First, we select the type of data we will check against. You can see that there are a lot of different types to choose from. Because we want to check if a custom field has a value, we select Post Data. And now we select the source, just like when displaying related fields. Post source is parent agent. I select the field group for agents and then the agent photo field. OK, so what do we want to check? We want to display this agent photo if it doesn't have an empty value. So we need to select to check for empty values. And then we turn on the not option here on the left. Again, the not option makes the condition check against values that do not fulfill the parameters we set. OK, we're done setting up the condition, so let's save it and then drag our existing image block into the conditional. Good, now let's add another conditional block. This time we'll cover the case where the agent has no photo. And we actually select all the same options again. We'll look for post data. Our post source is parent agent. We select field group for agents and the field for agent photo. Also, we again check if this field is empty. However, this time we don't need this not operator because we are actually checking for cases when this custom field is empty. We save the condition and now we have to insert a default avatar image for cases where there is no photo. This time, we select an image from our media library. Let's just give it a nice round effect and that's it. On the front end, our conditional block checks if the current agent has a photo. This one does, so it displays it. And here is an example where an agent photo field is empty. In this case, the default avatar image is displayed instead. 